this YouTube thing down. It's been a real struggle. I feel like I'm torn in all different directions. I shoot a lot of video, but I don't shoot enough video or I shoot way too much video and I have no process. We were given the opportunity to pick anything at a DIY headquarters or the boneyard. I decided I wanted to create a vignette. In the middle of the night, surfing through Facebook, saw this post about DIY video bootcamp. It was a fairly large investment to go because it's all the way in California. Then I had the plane and I have the hotel and the food and a car and all of that. So this is really something I should talk with my husband about, but you know what? He was sleeping. When starting any piece, the most important thing is prep. Make sure you clean your pieces well. So, I'm kind of one of those people that sometimes believes that it's a little bit better to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. I was afraid that if I waited until morning, they'd all be sold out. I really completely know how my husband's gonna feel about this. That, what do they call it, uh, YOLO or something like that? Since we only had a few hours to complete this project from start to finish, I decided to go with something I'd already done before and decided to recreate my octopus table. DIY's paint is perfect for this project because it's highly blendable and the deep pigmentation creates one coat coverage in beautiful colors. And in the morning, I have to break it to my husband that uh, I just spent like a ton of money without discussing this. And did I mention, have you seen my other videos that we're in the process of buying and flipping a house for ourselves? So, you know, money is a real, a real thing right now. A mister bottle and some water is the key to getting perfectly smooth coverage when you're using DIY paint. Everybody thinks that painting, like freehand painting is so hard. It's not, it really isn't. Have the inspirational picture next to you. Look at those pictures, hold them up, print them out, take a pencil, draw out how you want the octopus legs and don't be afraid. Using your deepest contrast color, in this case, I used Bohemian Blue, begin to sketch out the rough outline of your octopus tentacles. Don't be nervous. This is gonna be very organic. Just keep your brush moving. This is just a rough sketch. We're gonna fill it all in with multiple layers of blended paint. So morning rolls around, because I know you're gonna see it on the bank account when you look today. I just wanted to let you know that I spent like, you know, a thousand dollars last night. He kind of looks at me like, I'm sorry, what? I mean, he's a good guy, he's a good guy, but it's a, it's a big expenditure without discussing it, for sure. I mean, if people think we're rich, we are not rich. So I told him what it was that I signed up for. For starting any new color, remember to mist your surface. And this is a rough blend, so keep it nice and easy. This is really basic, easy blending. This is not blending where everything has to be perfect. You actually want it to be a little more rustic. Consider different ways you can add texture and depth. You will need a good set of artist brushes and a little bit of water for this part. Just keep adding layers. It was all okay. He says, you know, I'm pretty sure I have enough travel miles that I can get you a free flight. If you stay at the Marriott, it's like, I can get you a free room. So I got a free room. I didn't have to run a car. Basically, the only money I've had to spend is food, which let's face it, I'm gonna eat anyway. Now it's time to do my favorite thing and give it a little distress. This actually helps to show a little of the wood and blend the colors together a little better. If you're doing a very large surface, you may wanna consider using an orbital sand. Wet distressing is great for small detailed areas. Next, you wanna give several good layers of big top. Don't worry, the colors change pretty dramatically. Next up, the mirror is gonna get the new Dixie Belle Nautical Life Transfer. I thought this Kraken was perfect with my Kraken. A little rubbing with a stick, an easy pullback, and this is a quick and easy DIY project with massive impact. This is under the sea and um, the sunlight distorts the patterns and the colors. And of course, Dixie Belle's gold gemstone mousse is the perfect touch to bring this piece to life. I added gold to the wood around the mirror, the transfer itself, and of course, the table outlining the arms of my Kraken. One of the great things about the gemstone mousse is it is water-based, which means if you make a mistake, all you need to do is take some water and wipe it right up and you're good to start over. When it's dry, it'll dry to a hard finish and it'll be permanent. There's no need for an additional top coat. 
if you want to purchase any of the products that you saw in this video, which I'm going to have links for below, then check out vintagebdesign.com. If you really love this video and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click on the bell if you want to be notified when I post a video, and you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram under Vintage B Design. And uh, thanks so much for joining me, guys. Bye. Thank you.